second lesson, St. Luke chapter 21, verses 13 to 15. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer, for I will give you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or nor resist. Redwin, have you heard what is read to you? He does not only teach you spiritual things, but carnal things also. What examination will be set before you and the Holy Spirit would not pass it? The Holy Spirit can pass any degree program, whether it is MA or PhD within the shortest time possible. In any examination, he is the first to finish any paper. Do you not see the, in, the incidences of students passing the examination? You do not need to spend your time studying. Rather, you should go on your ministry. Since he is the teacher, he will teach you during your ministry, during your examination. He will sit and write the examination for you. If you really want to study so that you answer your question properly, you may fail your examination. I am telling you with any amount of boldness that there is no teaching in the world which the Holy Spirit cannot impart. The art of mathematics introduction by the Egyptians to the world was brought about by the Holy Spirit. What is there that he, that he cannot teach you? What you learn from school and colleges are but shadow knowledge. What about the deep and recondite wisdom of God? He has imparted unto you free of charge without demanding a fee. We should therefore glorify him. The Holy Spirit invents. What do you think is, is responsible for the invention of the aeroplane and electricity? The Holy Spirit is responsible. But the whites do not disclose that it is the Holy Spirit who has taught them these sciences. When you argue that the whites are very experienced and intelligent in inventing, discovering and manufacturing, I tell you that they do not know anything because it is the Holy Spirit who teaches everyone when and what to invent. Can you hear what? He has advice, he says, settle it in your heart, not to meditate before what you will answer, but know that in any circumstances he will teach you what to answer to an extent that you will not believe your ears if you leave this place to go somewhere and somebody confronts you with a question, he will immediately provide the answer. You will not know the answer yourself, but he knows the answers accordingly. He also asks questions. He, he cancels, he promotes, and he demotes. When you pray to God that he should let his kingdom come, it is the Holy Spirit which now rules. If he decrees that you should not speak, then no person would speak. He had sent the angel, but they could not perform the duty. He sent his prophets. They too fell short. They too fell short of the expectations of God. Then he sent prophets in sets and categories, but they too could not perform. He lastly sent his only begotten son, thinking that when they saw him, they would fear and reverence him, but when they saw him, they communed within themselves and said, This is the heir to the inheritance. Let us kill him, that we may inherit the farm 
I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. You are aware that during the last advent of our Lord Jesus Christ, he used to invite people to follow him, but such persons usually paid their fears and would not want to follow him and would go their own way. Others told him they would follow him, but that they should first be allowed to carry their normal trade, to carry on their normal trade or do other business before they could follow him. Many others were looking for him everywhere but could not see him. But now everything appears as on the cinema screen. He is appearing lavishly to people when ev wherever people are found among the whites and the blacks and it is difficult to know what to do but the father is doing his work though the world is confused did he not say i will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring it to naught to the other to the understanding of the prudent where is the wise where is the scribes where is the dispute of this order where is the scientist and the technologies? Where are these fellows now? Does it mean that till now you do not know that it is the Holy Spirit doing everything and reigning in heaven and on earth? His words are irrevocable. If he says, let there be rain, there must be rain. And if he says, there should not be rain, it will not rain. No matter how much you can pray, you cannot alter the course of God's will. What can you pray? But himself makes intercession for us. If he says the atmosphere should be hot, it will be hot. If he decrees that there should be cold atmosphere, then coldness will prevail. All of these are his work. That explains why we should glorify him and magnify his name. I should not have enumerated these examples, but I merely count them so that you may realize whether a person who has all the attributes of God is not worthy of this glory. I want to put it to you that there is nothing the Holy Spirit cannot do. I want to tell you that the Holy Spirit does not request you to do anything because what is man who can do anything? If he requires that you should fast for a year, you will fast for one year and will never be hungry throughout the year. It was prophesied a long time ago that when he shall come, your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. But these prophecies have never been authenticated or confirmed, or that most of the things done are haphazardly done, because people do not want to be vocal. However, we are very lucky to live in the time when he is manifested. Tell me why you should not testify about the kingdom of God and his glory. God's wisdom confounds the wisdom of man. Now you have acquired all sorts of knowledge and now the wise men are at their wit's end. Their wisdom is no longer useful to any person because now is the reign of the Holy Spirit that no person should have any defense for himself. He reigns and all must now bow down unto him, praise him, glorify and magnify his name. All knowledge acquired through the university or through human experience or through indoctrination is unprofitable. But when he arrives, he unlocks the key and let loose his wisdom, so that in everything he may be glorified, since this is the time of his glory. In all church, 
if all church members, members of secret society, scientists, astrologers, and astronomers meet together, a small child who possesses the Holy Spirit will confound the wisdom of the wise and the understanding of the prudent and will cause them to look stupid. Look at the great medical scientists who have been in the United Kingdom and the United States of America for more than 10 years. If you present somebody with the slightest ailment, they cannot cure. They can neither diagnose nor prescribe a cure, but any small child who is endowed with the power of the Holy Ghost will sing, O oh God, send down thy power, send down thy power, and give thanks to God, and the sick person will recuperate. Such an action can bring disgrace to the learned medical scientists who go away with shame. With the Holy Spirit, no preparation of concoction or charm, no talisman or juju, no satanic machina machination can survive or become effective. No tablets, no injection, capsules can be effective in the face of the Holy Spirit. This is so because now is the era of the Holy Spirit and nothing can resist his will. He is the ruler over water, over trees, roots, over herbs, leaves, barks of trees, over man, all elements and in all the planes of creation. When you are told that in future there will be no courts of law, no hospital, no soldiers, no police in the world, you laugh. But there is no gain say about that. When you laugh, do you know what the Holy Spirit is? Do you think it is like a human being? He is not. He is the judge and court. He is everything. He does not plead with you now with the angel he is all and in all it is expedient that we glorify him call upon him and believe in him whether or not you see him he continues to exist since you continue to doubt as the thomas you are out of your ways how many of you in this hall were prepared to serve god who wants to know him who looks for God? But here you are. You, but here you are. Do you know how to go about? Do you know where you are? If you say you know, you are a liar because only the Holy Spirit knows. No other person knows. Do you do not think of what many of you liars say here that? The Father uses you in his work. Do you know that Father? Which Father has used you in his work? Have you heard what he has said in the scripture? He says, settle it in your hearts, not to meditate before what you will answer or what you will do, for I will give you a mouth and a wisdom. He heals all ailments. He renders music. He opens better, he translates the gospel, he does every bit of thing. He protects you, feeds you, closes you, and keeps and caters for you. The spirit, the spirit in you lusts to envy. Invite any of the bishops and reverends or even the Pope to use the knowledge he has acquired to do anything. If he will be able to do it, he will not be able to do anything. The Holy Spirit has bundled and has thrown the wisdom of the world into this youth and he has taken dominion over everything. I have not prevented you from making your own plans. 
But have your plans been successful? Has the Holy Spirit accepted and approved of your plan? He resists the proud. Do you think that the spirit which dwells in you is for nothing? It lost to envy. When you enter the path of iniquity, he hinders, resists, and scatters the plan. He dwells in our body as cough drop, so that all your secret thoughts, all the sins you commit, are placed before him. He, he searches the hearts and reign and the and he monitors all you do. When Cain killed Abel, there was no other person who witnessed it. How was this known to the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit asked Cain, Where is thy brother Abel? He answered immediately, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Again, when Moses killed the Egyptian boy, who was there to witness? But the following day, when he met two Israelites fighting and he rebuked the one who was guilty, why he should smite his brother, the boy asked him, Who made you a prince and a judge over us? Do you intend to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Who told him? Was it not the Holy Spirit? You do not yet understand what I tell you, because if you were to understand, you would have rearranged your thinking and, by, and be precautious in what you say and do. This is so because all what you think about is monitored by the Holy Spirit in, La by the Holy Spirit in Lagos or London or any other place. He can send somebody to tell you to refrain from your thoughts, for they do not give glory to God, but the fear of God is not in you. Later on, you can complain that it is your wife who reports you to the brethren in Britain. Who did she send? It is the Holy Spirit who discloses the thoughts of your heart. Till today, many do complain that what they do is disclosed to him by somebody. Why should he know all these things? Was it not a certain person who reported this situation to him? Our Lord Jesus Christ has passed through the mouth of Paul to say, For I know nothing by myself, yet Am I not hereby justified? But he that judges me is the Lord. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart. Whatever you do, whatever you are, your nakedness is exposed to the Holy Spirit. If you are a thief or a fornicator, you stand pure naked before the Holy Spirit, who uses us as he likes. Who can ever deceive him? You are aware of what is happening in the government or in all facets of the society. It is the Holy Spirit that shakes the earth and searches into all nooks and corners with the Holy Spirit, there is nothing hidden. He is responsible for everything that happens. Do you not realize how these events are hidden from the world? Go and disclose to them that whatever they see and hear and witness should be attributed to the Holy Spirit. That nothing happens outside the knowledge of the Holy Spirit, which was written about many years ago. He had made a statement to the effect that this generation will not pass away until everything stands consummated. But no angel will know the time, neither will the Son know about, the, about it, except he himself alone who knows about the time. 
Do not ask. Do not seek to know where you are. And do not seek to know where you are going to. Because you will not know until tomorrow. He alone knows about it. As a monitor. As a motor vehicle which was broken down and cannot move by itself but has to be towed by another vehicle the vehicle towed cannot die cannot dictate where it is to be taken to but has to be pulled at the pleasure of the towing vehicle to any destination it likes so it is with us whether you shout or, mur or murmur or lament, the Holy Spirit will not mind your reaction, but will continue to drag you on. The more you look, the less you see. Have you ever found a person who engages in a certain business with total commitment for two years, but cannot catch the head and tail of the business? If you found yourself in a mint where money is produced, if you tarried a while, you would know the art of minting. Even if you want, even if you went to a place where something is produced, and as a human being, since you claim to be very wise, you will understand certain operations of the business or even understand the mechanics of the whole business but in your own case you have remained here for 15 to 20 years but cannot grasp anything you always find yourself in a confused state somebody can claim that he has been a brotherhood for 20 years and that brotherhood does certain things in certain ways when he adopts the methods he designs for himself he fails because what he does is not commensurate with the tenets of brotherhood but brotherhood will continue to progress in the spiritual emancipation you will find some brothers who claim to have learned how to bless a child how is a child blessed in brotherhood of the cross and star a great many mem a great Many members attest to the fact that brotherhood has a particular pattern of singing and that the pattern of song which used to be rendered in 20 or 10 years ago is no longer used and the type of song which will be, re which will be rendered in future will not admit any longer the wretched songs being sung now and a few years to come, the old songs will be forgotten about. Only songs from heaven will be rendered, or that your hymn, or that your hymn book will even be put out of use. Take the case of Sutan. If you put on Sutan, which is so short that it stops at your knee you will be looked at as somebody from the jungle the other the order of the day is the wearing of sutan which is not only immaculate white but flowing garment which covers all your toes if your toes are seen you are turned a rebel such cannot be the brotherhood sutan the time for putting on jumper or French suit is now past. When angels dress up, no person sees their toes, not to talk of their legs. It seems you only hear that brotherhood is yet coming, but you have not yet received its teaching. Within a very short time, you will see how brotherhood will appear. Lessons are being imparted and the Holy Spirit is doing his work. He is reforming people and the work is progressing with leaps and bounds. Even as we are sitting here, 
and lying down. The work of the Father is very arduous throughout the world. We are human. We suffer weakness, sickness. We are lazy. We slumber and sleep. But the Holy Spirit is neither slumber. The Holy Spirit neither slumbers nor sleep, but works around the clock. We are human, and a human being can be found at one place at a particular time. If you are here, you will not be seen at Lagos. But the Holy Spirit is everywhere. He appears lavishly to many people in different places, in multiple forms. When he is here, he is also in Lagos and in London and New York. As he converses with you, he at the same time converses with another person at Eba and yet with another person in Paris and with another person in Karachi. He converses with you and with an ecomancer, with a juju doctor, with a fornicator, with a man of God. He is not discriminatory. Explain to me why we do not shout to the world what the Holy Spirit is doing. Do you feel that it is only when you surround a tree singing that the tree can die? But you realize that all curious trees, all charms and concoctions, all fetishes and idols, Mermaid and Juju have all been rendered useless and are swept away. All preparations of concoction, all deceit, lies and anger have been swept away into the deep sea. It is impossible that they, it is impossible that any other power can exist besides the power of the Holy Spirit. No man exists and no other form of wisdom exists. It is left for us to bear witness of, the, of his work and to tell people that he has come and that he is instrumentally to everything and to educate the whole world to believe in him. We shall take you no further. Our golden text will now be read. Golden text. St. Matthew chapter 10 verses 19 to 20. But when they deliver you up. Take no thought of or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak, for it is not he that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. When people confront you with the question of what you would do when your leader would be no more, what is your answer? What did the Israelites do when Moses was not anymore? Does it mean that there was no spirit again? When he had departed this life, the spirit descended upon Joshua, that self-same spirit with which Moses worked, also worked, and also worked in Joshua and continued appropriately where Moses had signed off, even though Moses was no longer in existence, yet the work was carried out by Joshua in a more extensive way. It was the self-same spirit. Now that people say they will laugh at you when your leader will no longer live because our Lord Jesus Christ died. When our Lord Jesus Christ died and resurrected, did he not advise his disciples to carry to tarry in Jerusalem until they be clothed with power from on high? Have you not heard about the Holy Spirit and how the work of God is progressed with wide strides and more than ever before? Despite the people's utterances, is this the era of our Lord Jesus Christ? No. The leader is not in the flesh in Lagos or at Abasi or Bori, but go outside and witness the progress of work and the quick spread of brotherhood everywhere. The progress is even greater here than the progress is even greater there than here. Do not pay a service.
When I come in here, no person kneels down, but you always look at me. But when it is announced that the, the leader has come in, every person will take, will make effort to kneel down. Carnally, no person kneels down, but you always sit and look at me. You dance with me without understanding anything. But at the outstation, if somebody announces that the Father has come, every person will kneel down knocking their heads on the ground. The fear of God will overwhelm the building and the impact of the Holy Spirit will be felt by all. But here it is a pity that you sit and look at the phenomenon and at these point and at times point your fingers at me and converse before me right now i am on high heaven making this decoration of which all the inhabitants of the world and all plains and in all plains of creation have heard have you not heard the testimony of our lord jesus christ that when they will deliver you up to the, to the judges in the courts take no thought how what how or what you will speak for it shall be given you in this in that same hour what you will speak for it is not you who speak but the spirit of your father who speaks in you upon all the opposition and persecution and hatred against brotherhood how many lawyers doctors judges magistrates how much money do they have? How many prominent people do we have who would have helped us? But the Holy Spirit is the lawyer, is the doctor, is the administrator, the judge, the magistrate, the police, the soldier. He is everything. In this world, wherever a person in this world, wherever a few persons are gathering together, the police will certainly be invited to maintain peace and order and to forestall any uprising. But look at this kingdom. Whatever we can do here, we have no need for policemen. If a police comes here, he deliberately came here to dance and the Holy Spirit protects not only them but also the government, the firm, the company and all the inhabitants of the whole world. Your problem is still that you do not believe in God because you have been told that Wherever you are, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you will drink, and what you will speak. For he is here, and will teach you everything. He is here to do everything for us, as we are now in the restored paradise. The world, the world was made flesh and dwell among men. You are aware that in the beginning there was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And now he advises that you should not take thought about yourself, what you will eat, what you will drink, or what you will say, because anywhere you find yourself, you will be given the mouth to speak. What is your duty now? that you pray that God should use you as his instrument. Why should he use you? And who are you to be used by God? Who do you think brought you here when you started planning to come in? It is the Holy Spirit who brought you here. What did our Lord Jesus Christ say? He said, no person can come after me except my Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up 
at the last day. In the same token, no person can change himself but the Holy Spirit because he is everything. Why do you stand here and before your God telling lies that you do certain things to God? Who are you? Has any person the ability to do any good thing? Upon all the good things done to you by the Holy Spirit, you will grow exasperated, tell lies, quarrel, because people lamenting, <coughs> thinking, and crying. What did Paul say? For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwells in me. The flesh cannot avail any good thing. Why do you cry and wail and mourn as a child without hope? What do you quarrel about? Have you heard the words of our Lord Jesus Christ that the spirit is indeed willing but the flesh is weak? You have accepted and your spirit is willing but you are still lamenting in the flesh. You still weep in the flesh. What you will eat and drink and put on? Your weakness works no benefit to you. It does not hinder the Holy Spirit from doing His work in you. You are now advised to surrender yourself to God. It is like somebody who asks you to hang your dress on the wall and you argue that you do not see where to hang your dress, fear, fearing that your dress will fall down. Hang it on. Surrender yourself to the Holy Spirit who accepts to surrender himself because you argue that you will fall. And so, brethren, we should glorify the Holy Spirit because this is the era of his glory. Preach about him, sing about him, in the street. Never you speak evil against any person or thing. Do not allege anything against any better. But whatever you have to say in your sermon, in your songs, your prayers and testimonies, say that the Holy Spirit does everything. Wherever you go, tell people that it is the Holy Spirit that is doing everything in the world. The Holy Spirit has come to stay. It is a thing of wonderment because last week was the reception of the Holy Spirit, a very significant occasion. Listen to the word. Listen to the word. Listen to your inward self. Listen to all bodies of water. The work done by the Holy Spirit at this end of time is not only great but, but spectacular. The so-called traditional established churches do not believe on the Holy Spirit. They still doubt the arrival of the Holy Spirit and they say they attend the real church. They cannot attend any spiritual church. Even in brotherhood here, many of you are still doubting. In most battles, it is not uncommon. To find members asking the question, is this the real God or is it really the power of God or is there nothing behind it? Tell me what a man can sacrifice in order to gain this glory. Others in the world confess that the power is indeed great but that it is not come from God. If the power is not from God. From where does it originate? We should no longer waste our precious time. Whenever the Holy Spirit does anything, do not claim responsibility and do not attribute it to any other person. It is the Holy Spirit who does everything. If you claim responsibility, I have nothing to do with such claim. You can only have yourself to blame. 
The Holy Spirit is responsible for everything. When you come here, when you came here, he thought he brought you. He knows what we want and so does everything. But only glorify him. People in the world here and people in the world here and study about man, about angel, tree and other things. But man has never regarded the Holy Spirit as anything because the Holy Spirit is the evidence of things not seen. When you call the name Jehovah Jah, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Job, what do you mean by calling such names? These are names of angels and not he himself. But these angels are under his rule. We should go no further from here. Let us not bother ourselves any longer. The Holy Spirit has come to rule from the hairs of your head to your toes in water, in the heads, in the kingdom of God, in the sun and in the moon and reaches all planes of creation. Brethren, I do not intend to be tedious unto you. One stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise man. Those who have ears, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.